Right, back on again. Some people I just managed to video all. The top there, the ramparts and ditches and wall formations when um, someone came. So that was good. See, another day that would have been lots and lots of people there at the weekends. I, I expect there would be a lot of people coming. Um, we probably planned right to go on a Monday on a nice day. <sighs> yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm actually walking around what um, would have been the outer remnants of the hill fort going down a long way, look, where lots of people would be settlements, probably grain pits. There's a boundary wall there, but that might have come later, I'm not sure. It is, all, it is ancient though, and it's built very similar to what you see, um, how the ramparts are built with um, that sort of layering on the side, on the sideways. Layering. Layering. Um, there's a signpost coming up in a minute. So I'm just like I said, I might have to put my jumper back on. It's <clears throat> the sea's just over there. So oh but I'm gonna climb up that hill is hot work. So let's just see what this signpost says. Because I think you can just, to be quite honest, you can just walk right round it here. That was the main feature back there with the um, the mounds, the ramparts and the dishes, um, showing the defensive structure. But you see that that is, if this is an ancient wall, I think it says in this leaflet about these walls somewhere, I'll look it up. But if you go right in, look at how it's all held together and then nature helps as well look mosses and grasses and roots of things all help knit it together this is a vast expanse you can see how big it how big it is it doesn't feel very high though does it because it's um Let's have a look what it says on here. It's a pity they don't put on there the cross, isn't it? See? It's a pity they don't, don't, don't show that on there. So basically, I'm going to follow um, back. I'm going back round. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wander off into Allaford Woods. I learned a bit from last week when I... Or the week... Well, t two or three weeks ago now, isn't it? Um... It only seems like last week, but it wasn't. It must have been three weeks ago. It's gone so quickly. Now, I'm going to follow structured routes. I might even go back to Alberta for a minute, have a warm drink, and then go off and do the cross. I'm just going to check the time. Because apparently it wasn't very far. And it was straight downhill. I mean, it could be that that does lead you to it. You see... But I've got, because, because it doesn't tell you, I don't want to go wandering off into a wood. If it doesn't. It's just gone one o'clock, right over and out. Right. This is from a distance. I was walking up on the ramparts right about there. The, probably the top of the hill fort, fort, I would have thought. I was standing on the bank up there. 20 minutes ago and then some more people came someone with a child and a dog came and then a man and a woman um, but this is what it looks like this all this bit here would be like what's called the bailey where people would have their homes like the village you know they'd all be spread out here with uh, their like little towns and that Now there's the wood that takes us back. Don't creep beacon right in the corner, but the sun's in the way there, so. Here we have the track. I'm gonna pop back to the van for a little while. 
not for long. Then I'm gonna go and find the cross, and that will be. I'm gonna go back to the van because it's from the plaque where you go straight down. That's what it says. So I'm gonna, rather than weave in and out of that wood and hope to find it with no signs, I'm going this way. More people coming over and out. So up there, I'm just, that's so worthy beacon up there. I think somebody was standing on it a minute ago. Up there, look. The beacon's just to the right of them. They're near the Khan. I've taken a picture of that. There's a road. A little road that brings you here. Right, over and out. <laughs> 